Coast Guard. So right now I'm in the train station. That's not my train, but in the train station, we're gonna go to Florence where we see fashion and fashion. And got a little snack too. Now I hope you got your tickets, Rosebuds, because we're on our way to Florence, Italy, where we're gonna be buying leather at the world famous Peruzzi Leather Factory. This is gonna be so cool. So the Peruzzi Leather Factory has been around since 1948, and they make leather shoes, hats, jackets, bags, and wallets. And they've been operating, if you're thinking about 1948, they've been operating for almost 80 years. So this was our view from the train and it was gorgeous. Que bella vista, or in English, what a beautiful view. Now while living here, I didn't expect to see farmland. I expected to see either a metropolitan area such as Rome, which we did, um, or see um, the water, like the Amalfi Coast, which we also did. <laughs> but who would have thought Italy would have such beautiful acres of land? So the train ride took about two hours, maybe an hour and a half, I'm not sure, but this is what the station looks like. Um, those are my shoes, thank you. <laughs> but let's take a look at the station. Now, I don't know if this is an Italian thing or if this is standard in Europe in general, but in order for you to use the restroom at the train station, you had to pay. You would see this kind of store in New York, and I was trying to get a video, but this lady walked in front of me, so yeah. But no worries, they had the same types of shops around this building here, which they call the Baptistery of St. John. We sat down to eat before going to the leather factory, and I looked to my right and I realized that we have an extra friend here. These pigeons are bold, okay? These European animals are built different, but we split the check, so it's all good. This building right here is called the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore. In English, that means Cathedral of St. Mary of the Flower. So now we're walking towards Peruzzi Leather Factory, and I want to thank Fenty Beauty, Too Faced, and Elf Cosmetics for holding me down because it was about 105 degrees Fahrenheit there. Nothing was smudging, and I did not have to reapply despite the hot weather. So this is one of the first signs you see when you go inside of the Peruzzi Leather Factory. Now I wasn't sure what to expect when I first walked in, but I totally fell in love with this entire store. It felt like every section you were walking through was a new store. Like you had watches, there were like a million watches in one section. You go to the bags as you can see, they have so many sections of bags. You go to the jackets, you go anywhere else, it was like your own little world that you could walk in and it was just, ooh. I really, really like this place so far. And they have hats. I've never seen leather hats before, so this was very new for me. They also had brands that we're familiar with in the States, such as Prada, Tommy Hilfiger, and Gucci. Baby, this is what I came for. Look at all these leather jackets over here. This is so cool. You have different colors. I'm used to seeing brown and black, and I was surprised to see that they had blue, red, and it was still real leather. And then they had another section full of bags. And look at this layout of the store. I think that it's absolutely gorgeous. You have a very neat, presentation and it's all in color order. I actually learned to do this in my personal life after working for Intimissimi, which is a famous Italian lingerie company. And it actually shows you what you have in your closet. And it makes things so much better when you're trying to pick your outfit. So Peruzzi Leather Factory has a couple of floors. It's not just like two or three floors. And so I'm at the very top where you see the shoes and mm, mm, mm. 
Look at these shoes. I just knew in my heart of hearts that I was not going to leave Peruzzi Leather Factory without Peruzzi Leather Shoes. And I wasn't too sure what my size would be in European sizes, so I had a wonderful person help me figure out what my correct size was. So I'm about to try on some shoes. I'm so excited. They're 190 euros, which is probably like 200 something USD, but if I can do it, I'll do it. So stay tuned. Check these out. I love them. Not to go with this dress, but. <laughs> My family and I decided that black would probably be better for the shoes, so I got black shoes, and my dad got my mom and I our black leather jackets, which I'll be showing you in the next lookbook. When we left the leather factory, we got to hear some beautiful singing on our way to the restaurant. <laughs> I forgot where we were, but we were just surrounded by sweets. Mmm, it was so good. They had gelato, pastries as you can see. Mmm, I loved the strawberry tart. It was so good. I also tried Baba El Rum or Baba Napolitano which is sponge cake soaked in rum, and it was so good. So we wound up missing our first train back to the apartment because your girl's not good with military time. And we had to buy another ticket each for 55 euros. But other than that, I can say that we had a pretty fun day. I'm not even gonna complain. We got leather and the train ride home was so beautiful. As you can see, it's dark, but it's not so bad because it was quiet and everyone was just sleeping and you got to see the beautiful scenery. And I had so much fun in Florence. Thank you so much for watching again. My name is Amy Rose and let me know how you would style a leather jacket or leather shoes. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.